Hey everybody, uh, this is Mark, and today we're going to talk about a website called scambook.com. Uh, the, the reason I'm even doing this is it's kind of a response to some emails that I've had going back and forth with uh, the employees at Scambook. And from what I can tell, there's, there's really only two or three um, employees here at Scambook. Um, and again, I want to make clear that, that what I'm about to present to you is... Uh, what I have perceived to be uh, s some really unfair practices of this company and you know I'm not an attorney I'm not a lawyer I'm just kinda giving you my review my opinion of what it looks to me like is going on and in this video I'm gonna share with a few members of the media and uh, who I've been exchanging some emails with because um, Scambook they, they kinda of present themselves as being like a consumer advocate that, that we're here to help consumers uh, fight back, you know, get their money back. Um, when in reality, um, they're they're definitely a business, and and they're it's a company that's trying to generate a profit. And I don't have any problem with profit, but to allow consumers to make complaints, and then not allow businesses to respond to those complaints unless they are a paying member of Scambook. And that just seems to be incredibly unfair to me. Um, I do have a little professional looking presentation here in Notepad. Uh, here are my main concerns. Uh, number one, we'll show these to you here in a minute. Uh, as a merchant, Scambook has an F rating with their local Chicago Better Business Bureau. And that just seems incredibly ironic to me that a company that uh, tries to tell us that they're here to help consumers has an F rating with their local BBB and I'm, sh I'm sure this is based on complaints from merchants regarding the practices of of Scambook. Um, merchants oops that's not correct uh, merchants cannot dispute a complaint without paying a fee to Scambook and I will show you the merchant back end here in just a minute and we'll start with those two points and we'll come back to these others here about the neutrality of the company and, and some privacy concerns that that I have. But let's look at their BBB rating first and uh, anytime I do these I do have a blog up and the address of the blog I have too many tabs going. Uh, I set up a blog uh, the other night and the, the phrase that came to mind when I looked at their their business practices is again I'm not an attorney but from my point of view it seems to me like extortion and so one of the search phrases that I was googling was you know scam book as a scam or scam book as extortion and so the address I set up was scam book extortion dot blogspot dot com okay so you can go there and I'm trying to uh, to document a lot of these things that, that I've learned about scam book um, if you're a merchant that's had problems with them, I encourage you to stop by here and leave me a comment so we can kind of, you know, compare notes. Um, but their their local BBB rating, and here is the address. And if you just Google the Chicago BBB, um, you can do a search. But but here again, as of June 1st, um, here is their BBB rating. They have an F, and at the very bottom here, it it says that on April 30th. A representative of the BBB visited Scambook's location, and they learned that that it's a virtual office. Scambook uh, representatives from Scambook were not available, and the location is shared with several other unrelated businesses. So, um, don't even really have a real, you know, business headquarters, so to speak. Um, and also, when you go to their website, when you go to contact us, there, there's no phone number here. There's just basically a contact form. There's no phone number, there's no address. Um, and ironically, they say at the very bottom of their page that Scambook is a 100% free community. Well, that's free for, for merchant, or I'm sorry, free for consumers to post a complaint. But as a merchant, you, you can't respond to any of those, those complaints. Um, and I'll talk about my individual situation here in a little bit. But we run a directory of Herbalife distributors, Herbalife International, and what we're dealing with is kind of a case of mistaken identity, and I'll, I'll go into that here at the tail end of this presentation. 
But so here's the, the page for my company on scambook.com. So here's what a merchant company page looks like. And here are the complaints that show up on the site. And this was actually pointed out to me by a client that when you Google our company name, um, Herbal Nutrition Network, that this shows up in one of the top ten results in Google. And so I'm thinking, oh, it's no problem. It's it's mis it's a case of mistaken identity. This people are complaining about uh, uh, this HGC Ultra. It's a kind of a scam that's going around Facebook. And this company is using one of our domains as their reply to address. So it, it kind of throws off the customers. Um, and they type in that domain. They come to our website, which is not the website they ordered product from. And then they Google Herbal Nutrition Network Scam. They find this page and, and post a complaint. Um, but I'm going to log into the merchant control panel here because I did register to be a merchant here uh, just to show you what that looks like. There is a, a free trial as a merchant, which that sounded like a great thing for me as a merchant. The problem that you have as a merchant is that we're in trial mode. Resolution features disabled. I, I cannot resolve any of these complaints. Okay? Because, as it says right here, resolution features disabled in trial mode. So the only thing you can do, um, if you go to your account settings, if you opt out of trial mode, and here are your different plans if you want to resolve complaints. Okay? Now, your standard plan is $99 a month and you can only respond to f uh, five complaints per month. My company currently has ten complaints. It would take me two months to respond to the complaints. Okay. Now, the pro plan gives you fifteen resolutions per month. It's three hundred bucks a month. Okay. And then Enterprise is five hundred dollars a month. Unlimited resolutions and also adds a feature called Complaint Prevention which allows you to respond to complaints before they show up on the website. Now, I pointed out to um, the staff at Scambook that, you know, look, the complaints that were posted on your website were not about my company. You know, I explained to them that the consumer has been misled by um, some, some uh, basically, scammers. And now I want to resolve those complaints. But I can't unless I buy one of these plans. Okay, so I basically I have to pay at least $99 a month to resolve complaints. There's nothing I can do as a merchant. You know, I, I can't have them, they won't remove them, and I can't respond to them unless I pay them. And that's my big gripe. Is as a merchant, you know, the customer has to do no verification. They create an account, they post a complaint. But as a merchant, um, you have to pay in order to respond to those complaints. And they say, look, we'll help you clean up your online reputation, yeah, on their website, as long as you pay a monthly fee. And to me, that is just um, is incredibly unfair. Um, also, um, they do say in one of their emails to me that they're a neutral platform for dispute resolution for businesses and consumers. Um, at the same time, I find this kind of strange. Uh, there's another consumer board website and ironically, Scambook claims to be, here's the address of the page I'm looking at. And uh, so this is the website that I'm on. And I'm a gentleman, so I don't even like to say the name of it. But um, basically, they had a complaint with a company called Instaflex. I don't know a thing about Instaflex or the complaint, but if you'll look down here, Okay, Scambook support posted, saw your comment, I'm sorry for your frustration with Instaflex. It's a shame that so many are feeling ripped off by this company. We're seeing many people complain about Instaflex on our site, Scambook.com. If you would like to share your complaint with others in hopes of getting your money back through a class action lawsuit, I would suggest you post your complaint as well. Once 100 complaints have been filed, we can move to the next step on stopping the scamming. Now, Oh, and there's also an email address here. It's Kristen at scambook.com. And, and this really struck me as strange, you know, because they're kind of promising that if you come to Scambook, number one, this merchant, if 
if people do come here, read this, go to Scanbook and file a complaint, then the merchant has to pay in order to resolve those complaints. Number two, this whole thing about class action litigation um, just struck me as really strange. So I did um, a, just a little bit of research on to see who the owners of, of Scambook um, are. Um, it's an LLC, and here are the owners of Scambook. And this company right here, actually, if you do a search for them, it, it does not actually give you a hit. And I believe there's actually a typo here. I believe it should be K-I-N-Z-I-E. And somebody else um, did some research and discovered that this Kinsey Street Enterprises is a legitimate Illinois LLC, which happens to be owned by a gentleman named uh, J. Endelson. Uh, J. Endelson, if you do a little bit of research, you'll quickly discover that he happens to be a, uh, uh, a class action attorney. Okay? So again, you know, they scam but claims to be a, a neutral platform, but at the same time, it appears that one of their owners happens to be a, a class action uh, consumer attorney. So I think what we're really dealing with here is um, Scambook is, isn't so much about protecting consumers as it is about generating leads for class action lawsuits. So it looks like they're using the platform in order to find consumers who may be um, willing to join a class action lawsuit. And again, I don't have any problems with, with class action lawsuits, but at the same time, when you look at their, their privacy and their terms of use, um, if you do a, a match here on the word attorneys, okay, uh, they talk about how through business resolve, we allow companies interested in resolving scam but complaints to communicate to you the relief they are willing to offer. It is then up to you to decide whether you are satisfied with that relief and would like to accept it. If you are satisfied with the relief offered, we will make sure the company follows through. We will then mark your complaint as resolved. It will be removed from public view. Once the complaint is resolved, it will no longer be available for the company, its competitors, or private attorneys to investigate. If you aren't satisfied, that's okay too. You can decline the relief offered and your complaint will remain in the scam book system, may be investigated for other action, or the company itself may make you another offer. Um, and then there's this strange comment on attorneys and bidding. All right. And uh, sometimes a company's actions are so egregious they attract the attention of their competitors, private attorneys, and government agencies. Uh, we believe this is just another opportunity to put power in your hands. So Scambook has created a unique system that requires companies, their competitors, and private attorneys to compete for the opportunity to provide you the relief you deserve. Through this system, any company or attorney who thinks they can help you with your problem must bid on the right to do so. So when you read their terms in use, it talks about how um, Basically, you might have attorneys bidding on on your information in order to uh, contact you about class action uh, lawsuit. So, if you look at that uh, in their terms of use and read through that, you'll find that it's basically, I mean, they're pretty much telling you that your information may be sold to an attorney. Okay. Now, they do talk about. If you don't want to be contacted by an attorney, simply select the appropriate button in the privacy settings page. I, I happen to create a consumer account and I can't find this option anywhere. Well, I'm going to pause for just a second and I'll bring that page. Okay, so here I am. This is actually a consumer account, not a business account. And if you go to the privacy settings page, there's no option here to, and it said in the terms of use that it would be under your privacy settings, that there's a place you could opt out to not have your information uh, given to an attorney, and, and that, that page actually doesn't even exist on here, as near as I can tell. Okay. Now, again, on, on any point that I've made here, if Scambook will contact me, I'll, I'll gladly put their rebuttal up on my website. Okay. So, uh, my concerns that we've talked about so far, their neutrality c concerns, okay, um, how they've encouraged consumers to come and post complaints, um, 
how one of the owners is Jay Edelson, who is a class action attorney. Again, from what I have seen, this appears to be the case. Uh, we've talked about the privacy concerns. Um, read through those. Are they selling leads to attorneys? It would appear so. Or they're just giving them to Jay Edelson. Uh, the privacy setting they advertise, I, I can't find it. Uh, my conclusion, again, I'm not an attorney. It looks like extortion to me that if we pay, if, if you pay us, we will remove these comments. You know, um, I'm, I can't say that that it is or is not extortion to me. Um, you know, that's the first word that comes to my mind. Okay, um, is it fair to merchants? Uh, absolutely not. You know, if a consumer can make a complaint without any kind of verification, then how can businesses have to pay to respond to that? Uh, my personal conclusion, uh, Scambook appears to be a consumer advocate when in re reality they're actually a lead generation platform for class action lawsuits. So that's kind of my review of Scambook. Um, what can you do if you're a business? Here are some steps you can take, okay? And this, this is what I'm doing. And if you want to, you know, if you're a, a business and you feel like that, that you've had some problems with Scambook as well, you know, here's what I did. You know, call them email them okay they won't answer your phone call and, and you'll get a, a boilerplate response back but let them know look you're not fair to merchants okay um, I think this next step is very important if they are violating any laws uh, contact the Illinois Attorney General and let her know just do a Google search you can find the the Illinois Attorney General's website file a complaint okay you know let them know this this seems really unfair um, file a complaint with the Chicago BBB just for fun, okay? Uh, the only thing you can really do without paying money to resolve a complaint on your own page is to actually set up a, con a consumer account. And this is what I did. Okay, and here this is what I did for my business is, you know, here's the consumer's complaint. Um, I actually then posted a comment on the report as a using one of their free consumer accounts okay and those do show up in real time so that's really the only way you can respond to complaints from what I found um, and I even actually had to issue a complaint against myself so that became the top complaint so that hopefully people will see this first and I tried to explain what the situation was with um, with our website and how we're kind of a victim here of, of a scam ourselves okay so that's really the only thing you can do as far as their website is concerned. Um, contact your congressman and senator, okay? And then the other thing you might do is um, contact the media, okay? Find people who are consumer reporters in the Illinois area, around Chicago especially, in your own area. Um, search Google News for recent news stories that mention Scambook. Make comments on those stories and email the reporter and a director to my website do a video like this and say you know what this this website is not really what it appears to be okay and and finally if if you're a merchant that you know feels like you've been treated unfairly by scambook visit my website leave me a comment my phone number and email address will be available on there um, actually I'm putting my email address right here uh, this info at herbalnutrition.net Okay, my name is Mark Hall. You can drop me an email, and I'll see your email come in. Tell me that you're a merchant. And um, I'm, I'm just trying to kind of join together here with some other merchants who are in a similar situation. Um, finally, my story um, is one in which I'm going to bring up this website and show you. Um, there happens to be a, a virus going around that impersonates your friends on Facebook and takes you to a website that looks like this and, enc and encourages you to order this HGC Ultra. Um, these guys are using hundreds of, of different domain names and this is actually a thread on another website that talks about this scam. You can go validate this if, if you're interested. Um, they're using dozens and dozens of, of different domains but what they're doing is they are using um, a reply to address on the orders of info at herbalnutrition.com and actually the email address they use is no reply at herbalnutrition.com which happens to be an alias for 
our domain at herbalnutrition.net. Uh, if you will compare the scam website to our website, you will see that they really don't look anything alike. They have nothing in common at all. Uh, this is a directory of, of Herbalife independent distributors and we do retail sites for Herbalife distributors. Um, we don't sell any kind of an HGC Ultra product at all. Okay, But when a customer places an order through one of these bogus websites, they get one email and the only email address in it is an, an herbalnutrition.com address. So when they don't get the product, they go looking for the website again, which they can't find, but they do find herbalnutrition.net, and they think that we are the ones who, who scammed them. Um, so in our case, the complaints on um, Scambook aren't about us at all. They're about this HGC Ultra scam. So it's really a case of mistaken identity. And I have explained this to Scambook uh, personnel you know, several times, and they will not respond. They will not remove the comments. They will not let me uh, respond to the comments unless I, I pay for the, the monthly uh, the package. So, again, in my case, it is a, uh, a situation where um, I just want to be able to respond to the complaints that have been, you know, issued here without paying them a monthly fee. I mean, that just seems to be uh, just completely unfair. Okay, so again, uh, my name is Mark Hall. I, I did set up a blog online, and the address is is right here. One more time, it's scambookextortion.blogspot.com. Again, um, thanks for watching this video. Leave your comments. Check out my blog. Uh, God bless you, and have a great day.